Hi, Peter. Hi, Ivy. I haven't seen you in a while. What have you been up to? I was busy with my driving classes, and last week I had my driving exam. Guess what? I passed. Congrats! I'm so happy for you. Thanks. I'm getting my own car tomorrow. I'm really excited. Wow, that's so cool. Yeah, I look forward to not having to ask my parents to give me rides everywhere. I will be able to drive my friends around too. It will help me with my independence big time. That's for sure. Driving will give you a good start in life, and it opens a lot more doors. You're right. I'm sure I'll have more job opportunities now. Actually, I've just applied for a part-time job. Good luck then. I hope you get the job. Thanks. How about you? Have you started practicing driving yet? I got my permit two weeks ago, but I haven't been able to practice yet. Well, I hope you get a chance to drive soon. Hey, I'm having a birthday party next Friday. Do you want to come? That sounds like fun. Is it at your house? Yes. I'll be there. Please let me know if I can help you with the party. Okay, thanks. Best of luck and safe driving in your new car. Do you know who I bumped into yesterday? Who? Peter. I hadn't seen him for a while. Oh really? How is he doing? It sounds like he's doing well. He said he'd been busy with his driving classes. He was very proud of passing his exam the previous week, and I congratulated him. I told him how happy I was for him. <laughs> That's nice. Does he have a car yet? He said he was getting one today. He was really excited about that. He said he looked forward to not having to ask his parents to give him rides everywhere. He was excited about being able to drive his friends around too. He said it would help him with his independence big time. He also told me that he had just applied for a part-time job. I think he needs to save money for a college. Yeah, he's really responsible. He wanted to know if I had started practicing driving. Did you tell him that you were learning to drive? Yes, I did. Then I invited him to come to my birthday party, and he promised to come. He offered to help me with the party. That's so nice of him. Before we parted, I wished him the best of luck and safe driving in his new car. Hello. Hi, Ivy. This is Peter. Hi, Peter. How are you? Not so good. I'm calling to tell you that I won't be able to come to your birthday party. I had a car accident yesterday, and unfortunately, I broke my arm. I think I'll be laid up for a while. Oh no! I'm really sorry to hear that. What happened? At one intersection, I was turning left. When another driver who ignored a stop sign hit me, it was a hard hit. My car overturned. My arm was crushed against the door, and the airbag bruised my face. My car was totaled. I'm disappointed about that, but I'm really happy to be alive. This is nothing short of a miracle. Cars are replaceable, but you are not. I'm happy you're alive too. Thanks. I just wanted to let you know that I won't be able to come to your birthday party. It's okay, Peter. No worries. How long will you be staying in the hospital? I'm not sure, but I think I'll have to stay for a few more days. I hope you get better soon. I'll pay you a visit tomorrow. Is that okay? Sure. Are you okay, Ivy? 
You look worried. Peter called last night and announced to me that he would not be able to come to my party. Oh, that's too bad. Did he say why? He said that he'd had a car accident the day before and that he'd broken his arm. Oh no, that's terrible. How could this happen? He explained that he'd been turning left at one intersection when another driver who had ignored the stop sign hit him. He said that his car had overturned and had been totaled. This is really awful. He had just bought his car. He admitted to being disappointed that his car was totaled, but he said he was really happy to be alive. He considered that to be nothing short of a miracle. Even when he faces hardships, he always looks on the bright side of things. That's right. He's a really positive person. I asked him how long he'd be staying in the hospital, but he was unsure. I promised to pay him a visit today. I'll join you. Okay, he'll be pleased to see you too. Reported speech is the exact meaning of what someone said, but not their exact words. We use reporting verbs like say, tell, ask, admit, promise, explain, announce, invite, claim, etc. I'm so happy for you! I told him how happy I was for him. <laughs> I'm getting my own car tomorrow. He said he was getting his own car the next day. I was turning left when a car hit me. He explained that he had been turning left when a car hit him. Have you started practicing driving? He wanted to know if I had started practicing driving. I had a car accident yesterday. He said that he'd had a car accident the day before. I won't be able to come to your birthday party. He said he would not be able to come to my party. How long will you be staying in the hospital? I asked him how long he'd be staying in the hospital. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.